Hey, how's it going, everyone? Um, I know I said I won't be creating any more videos on, on the resume series, but I got a lot of requests to create a better um, better portfolio page, and um, I was also creating my own resume, so I thought I might, might as well do it, right? So before this video, what we had was um, once you click on a project, it's going to show you this dialogue. It was slightly smaller, but it's going to show you this dialogue, and um, all it has is a title, I'm um, an image gallery and a description and buttons at the bottom. So I made a couple changes. One is the size of the dialogue. And um, all I did there was if we go into the portfolio, um, remember how we created the dialogue here? It's been a while, so I don't properly remember what I stopped at in the last video. But um, all you want to do is add this field here. So maxed width and you can you have different options, right? You have um, excess, you have um, small, you have by default, I think it's MD. So what you have is probably MD. And then you have um, LG and you have XL, right? So if I do XL, for example, it's your own preference. If I do XL, this is gonna like go much more bigger. Um, so if I click on that, there we go, right? I prefer LG, so I'm gonna stick to LG. So that was one change we made to the dialog. The other change I made was actually use this library right here to have an image gallery instead of just one image. So in order to do so, Open this link. Um, there's some. Uh, there's a couple things in the docs that you want to look into, right? The first thing is obviously you want to install the library. So npm install um, whatever this is, and then save it if you want. So dash dash uh, dash dash save, and then the next thing you want to do is create the component, right? So I created a custom component because I had a custom CSS that I wanted to implement into it. But yeah, just go into components create an image gallery so i'm not gonna like code everything from scratch since i've already done it and um, anyway so yeah create an image gallery component and have two files in it right an image gallery.js and a css file and um yeah so this will be your image gallery file and before we start coding this or before you start coding it i want you to make a few changes into the resume data file right so I'm not sure where, again, I'm not sure where I stopped in the last video, but um, I'm pretty sure it looks something like that. Our projects look something like that, yeah? And the only change I made, we had, like, is the images. So we had um, one key and a value for image. So it was image as a key and one um, image as a value. So all I did was ch um, have this as a plural, so images. It doesn't matter what you call it, but um, the value is an array of images, right? So this is what I did, right? Um, so you want to change this for all of your images. And then inside the portfolio, right? Um, this, so wait, we're, we're, we're going to come to this later. Um, but just in case if I forget, this is what you want to do. So we had an image right here. We had something like um, image and then I'm not sure there was a source and stuff. Just get rid of the image and then um, import the gallery. Right, and um, yeah, let's go to gallery first. It's more important, but all you want to do is import the gallery, um, your custom gallery, not the library gallery, the custom one that you just built right here, the component, import it and um, pass in the images, which was this images um, right here, right? But yeah, that's all you'll need for the portfolio page. And um, into the image gallery component that we created, um, let's go back to the doc. So what you want to do is first thing first, um, after you install, you want to import the CSS file into um, your component or wherever you're calling this gallery, right? Um, and when you, and by the way, um, let's open the live in a new tab. And um, there's a lot of options. So you can have these thumbnails. I, I um, disabled thumbnails, uh, thumbnails in mind just because I prefer it that way, but it's all your choice, right? Um, yeah, it's pretty sick. Um, and um, it doesn't lag at all, so I like it a lot. And there's a full screen view as well. But yeah, so you, ca you can play around with it. You have different options right there. So I um, disabled thumbnails and um, I enabled bullets. So by default, the bullets are disabled, I enabled it. But anyway, let's close it and um, let's build our component. So import React from React, import the gallery from the image gallery, right? The library that we just installed and then import the CSS file. So you can copy this from here, um, copy that and just remove this symbol, whatever it's called. What is it called though? I don't know, but I actually wanna Google it. Um, Cloud, okay. 
I think it's an estimate symbol. That's what I know it as. But anyway, <laughs> um, just get rid of that um, symbol and then um, import the CS file, CSS file. And then you don't even need this divs. Um, but yeah, just um, export this thing right here. So you want to export the images. So the items are the images. And um, so I enabled um, a couple more um, props, right? The show bullets and the show thumbnails so it's false. Um, you can play around with this to whatever you like. Look at their docs. But yeah, so the image list thing here is right here. So for this um, library, it needs to receive images in this format. So an array of objects and every object has an original image and a thumbnail image. So obviously the original image will be the full size image. And if you have those thumbnails at the bottom, it's going to be the thumbnail images, right? Um, you can have it as the same images, right? You don't need to have two separate images. It doesn't matter. But what I did here was since in the resume data, um, we created an array of just images and not the object that it requires like this. I just parsed it, right? So we map through the images, we map through it. And all we do is return an object that has the key or uh, original, which is the image and the thumbnail as image. Uh, the thumbnail is optional, I think, but yeah, just have them both. And um, yeah, this is what you want to do. I'm sorry for not um, coding everything from scratch, but it's just a time saver. But yeah, so that's all I did here. And um, for the CSS, um, if I get rid of the CSS and save it, you're going to see like a couple things that look different, right? So one thing is um, I want this. I don't want this to be scrollable. I want this to fit under one screen and I don't want to scroll at the bottom, right, to the bottom. So all I did was set the max height. Um, so let's undo that. So the image gallery, the width, I just want the width to be 100%. I, I think this is optional, I don't even know this. But yeah, so there's two different things that you want to do. One is when it's in a small screen, and one is when it's in a full screen, right? It has two separate CSS files. So in a small screen, all I did was um, the width and height of the image should be 100%. And the max width should be 60%, 60 view height, sorry. So whatever your screen size is, screen size is, take 60% of that. And um, the reason I take 60% is because the dialogue, I think I set the dialogue size somewhere, right? Yeah. So I set the dialogue as 80 view height. So the height of this entire dialogue should be 80 view height. So 80% of your screen size, right? Um, you can just look at the code here and edit. Um, and um, so if this dialogue is 80%, I want the image to be slightly smaller, which is probably 60% of the screen size, right? And leave the remaining 20% for maybe the description, or you can set the size to whatever you want. But let's save this back. And um, yeah, there we go. So the screen size becomes, the image size becomes slightly smaller. And um, the second part of it is basically when it's a full screen image, right? And I know it's not, properly organized but yeah so when it's a full screen image i just want um the height and the width to be um a hundred percent of the screen size right so when you're going to full screen it will take a hundred percent a hundred percent the reason it's not full screen is because the images um the dimensions of the image is this size and um i set it as contained so it doesn't stretch right but yeah um if you want to see the um if I get rid of this, right, so let's just change it to true the thumbnails. Um, this is what it will look like. And if you prefer this, have it as that, but it has like thumbnails at the bottom. I actually like it. I don't know. But yeah, when you go into full screen, I probably have to fix the CSS for that. So if you want the thumbnails, just change the CSS to be slightly smaller, the height, I think. But yeah, whatever. I don't like the thumbnails, so I'm going to leave it as that. But yeah, this is basically the um, portfolio thing. Just yeah, just in case um, you want to have an image gallery and not just an image. But yeah, and um, another thing is um, you want to um, 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 wait, what did I want to say? Yeah, so to um, up, up, uh, make your project live, what you want to do is under Firebase, so Firebase, right? Um, let me create a new project. Um, so yeah, I have a few. Actually, I'm not going to create a new project, but let's just go into React Resume. And then go under Hosting. 
sorry, not hosting, and then enable it there, right? Once you enable it, um, so yeah, if you want to check mine out, probably like once I've completed it, this will be the link so mine should work. But once you enable it, um, okay, so this is a custom domain. How, what you do, wait one second. So once you enable it, um, you want to go into Firebase right here. Actually, you can YouTube it, but basically there's two steps, right? I think you got to do something like, um, fire, it's going to tell you the ste uh, steps, right, right? Um, right there once you enable it, right? So you got to do, um, Firebase init right, uh, on your root folder. Once you do Firebase in it, it's going to give you a few options, right? The options are going to be authentication, file store, database, storage, hosting, whatever. Just select hosting and um, click on next. And it's going to create um, a couple of files for you. I think this is the file that it's going to do, right? And once it creates it, once it's done, the next command that you want to do is Firebase run. No, not Firebase. Um, it's npm run build. So it should build your project into um, the into into the build folder right so your entire project will go into the build folder and once this command is done all you want to do is um i think it was firebase deploy deploy yeah it's as simple as that so once you do firebase deploy the link it gives you right there is going to be the link um to your live um firebase and you can always add a custom domain if you know how to do that just enter your domain name and then yeah, it's going to give you some T um, A records or I think TXT records, something like that. But yeah, that's how you publish it. But yeah, all right, cool. Cheers.